hello guys and welcome back to the channel so now guys it is a case of organa master who is your daddy and all of the superlatives peculiar to nigeria as guys i bring you this apc bands group loyal to aregbe shola as rumors of rift with tinubu intensifies so it is a case of a uh, who is the alpha one really amongst these two? This is the contention now because, of course, you know that Malam Buhari made uh, Arek Beshola, the Minister of Interior, a high-profile position. And that, of course, has now flashed him up as a Yoruba champion. And you'll recall what Tinubu did to Ambode, of course. He doesn't want any Yoruba face popping up in prominence to rival him for that uh, 2023 presidency so again the headline apc bans group loyal to aregbe shola as rumors of rift with tinubu intensify so now let's now see what yawa is going on in yoruba land the governor's advisory council gac on tuesday announced the dissolution of all political groups within the all progressive party apc in lagos state gac the highest decision making organ of the party in the state announced the dissolution at the end of a meeting in lagos the apc chairman in the state alaji tunde balogun who confirmed the decision to journalists said the move was to strengthen the unity within the party he said yes it is true all groups have been dissolved the decision was taken this afternoon tuesday you are a member of the apc and nothing more no more groups within the party we are all under the apc balogun added that the justice forum the mandate group which aregbe shola largely oversees and other influential groups in the party were all affected by the ban however the apc chairman was silent on whether the development had to do with any rivalry between the justice group and the mandate group there are some reports that apc national leader bola tinubu and minister of interior rauf aregbe shola are drifting apart politically over 2023 reports emerged recently of Aregbe Shola denying any interest in a 2023 presidential bid or any political rift with Tinubu. The dissolution of the political groups come barely two weeks after Aregbe Shola was said to have recognized the mandate group without endorsement of Tinubu. So now internal political fighting in Lagos state of course because the decisions will always be made in that state. So now Arek Shola is now making moves to have some sort of a foothold within Lagos State in preparedness of course for 2023 because he would need Lagos State and partly Kano State too if he was to defeat uh, Tinubu of course uh, in that uh, bid for the Yoruba ticket for APC. So now uh, Tinubu of course as I said he brooks no opposition he doesn't have the patience or the tolerance for dissenting voice and he doesn't allow anybody to stand in the way of his ambition we all know the Ambody narrative because that guy's uh, star was rising and he was uh, getting a bit too shiny and Tinubu of course moved swiftly to swipe him off his feet so now this is now this narrative playing out again uh, because Arik Beshola now he has that high profile uh, uh, ministry as we said which then puts him in close quarters with the corridors of power and he's now moving into Lagos to have a foothold there so the signals the smoke signals uh, Tinubu can see from the distance and the writing is on the wall and of course nobody is ever going to rival uh, Tinubu for Lagos State so it is a case of who is the daddy and organa master this is now the beef that is going on between tinubu and aregbe shola uh, conversations in the comment section come share thoughts the yawa that is tinubu that uh, would have nobody challenge him for his ambitions he cannot handle the one in uh, kaduna state el rufai but any yoruba person that uh, crosses the line he will give them a fase so it is a fase now that uh, tinubu is giving aregbe shola from the reading of this what is your reading come share thoughts but before you do that click on the red subscribe button so it turns gray bell button notifies you every time i drop a new video then come tell me what you're making of this development in the comment section so i'll leave you here carry this conversation on with you in the comment section but here i say peace
hello guys and welcome back to the channel so now guys tinubu has swiftly moved to douse the rumors of a rift between him and aregbe shola this of course is a political move but guys i bring you this tinubu clears air on alleged rift with aregbe shola this is the headline we're contending with now the master player from Lagos state makes another move again tinubu clears air on alleged rift with Aregbe Shola. So now let's now see what Abracadabra this guy is dishing out. The national leader of the All Progressive Congress APC, Ashwadu Bola Ahmed Tinubu, on Tuesday said that there was no rift between him and the Minister of Interior, Ogbeni Raouf, Aregbe Shola. Tinubu made the clarification in a statement signed by his media aide, Tunde Rahman. The APC chieftain described as fake news reports alleging that the GAC's appropriate and candid resolution had worsened a phantom cold war between Ashwaju Bolatinubu and the Minister of Interior Ogweni Rauf. Shola. The statement said, Today the Governor's Advisory Council, the highest decision-making body within the All Progressive Congress in Lagos State, passed a resolution calling for the disbandment of all factional groups within the party. This was to promote discipline, harmony and cohesion and engender party supremacy. The APC is one united political family in Lagos. This is a figment of the imagination of the news organization that authored the report. Ashiwaju Tinubu remains Ogbeni Aregbe Shola's leader. The former governor of Oshun State has been unswervingly and wholly committed to the progressive ideology of Tinubu political family. There is no war, cold or hot, between them. There has never been and there never will be. Ashiwaju believes in him and he believes in the APC leader. Our political family remains strong. We are staying focused on our commitment to building and maintaining a cohesive political party. The GAC is a strong body within the APC political leadership in Lagos. Its resolution is not targeted at any particular individual or collection of individuals. The resolution was to restate the often stated position that the only group known to us is APC and not any of the factional groups. It was to renew the commitment to APC and its unity. Obwene Aregbe Shola is a strong member of the political party. The GAC position does not imply any division within the group. The resolution is well-meaning and it should not be misinterpreted to do so impulsively as the authors of the report has done is to take the frontier of reporting away from facts to the realms of groundless speculations so groundless speculations is how they are are uh, presenting their their defense but uh, that fools no one of course because we know that uh, Tinubu does not make any move without an intent and if you look at the underpinning of this as well one we've already discussed that Arebe Shola is the minister of interior which makes him a very powerful figure within uh, the uh, Malambuhari regime so he has the ears of the corridors of power so that's one and then Aregbe Shola too is now building a faction within Lagos State because he wants to have a foothold there. So that is the second element. And then the third element is Aregbe Shola recently had a celebration of his uh, birthday and uh, uh, El Rufai, of course, from Kano State, phoned in because I think they did it via video conferencing uh, for reasons of uh, social distancing and all, all of that. And uh, El Rufai phoned in, El Rufai made an appearance uh, via video at that event to eulogize about her uh, Aregbe Shola 1 and to pointedly state, and I did a video on this uh, on this channel, so please go look through the playlist and you see it, and to pointedly say to uh, Tinobu that he is in confrontation with him, that he doesn't like him. So what he said uh, at that party, what El Rufai said to Aregbe Shola then was that you Aregbe Shola, you are my man any day, any time, but the uh, Ashiwaju that you follow 
Bola Tinubu is not my man because we have differences. These were his words. So it's a pointed pointing of the finger in the direction of uh, Tinubu to say, my man, we get beef. So this was what happened. So now Tinubu is now seeing all of these things coming together. Your enemy's enemy is my friend. But however that saying goes. So he's now seeing all these uh, things are uh, taking shape and he has moved uh, swiftly, of course, to secure his base because he knows that if he continues to secure Lagos state, then one, he has the mass that is Lagos, he has the wealth that is Lagos, and he has the political push that is Lagos to propel his presidential ambitions. So this is just whistling in the wind, of course, this uh, clear the air uh, on alleged rift with uh, Regbe Shola. Of course, they are in open warfare. Not in open warfare, but they are, uh, they are eyeing each other at least from a distance if it's not open warfare yet because these sort of people, they don't uh, do open warfare, especially uh, Regbe Shola, who is too savvy, and uh, Tinubu, who is a uh, very slick so the open warfare will be from uh people like el rufai but these ones they'll be uh pinching it to each other under the table this is what is going on so pinching under the table is the narrative now of the relationship between arek beshola and stenobu what says you come share thoughts but before you do that click on the red subscribe button so it turns gray bell button notifies you every time i drop a new video then come tell me now what you're making of this uh developing relationship or developing beef should i say between arek Shola and tinobu in the comment section so i'll leave you here carry this conversation on with you in the comment section but here i say peace